everybody, it's Becca again. Um, this was going to be my open box review on Birchbox, um, but I kind of recorded this when I first got the Birchbox, so I want to say it was last week or so. And when I went to edit it, it, um, yeah, there was no sound. So I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And now is a better time than any to get this dang thing done. Um, as you can see from my last video, I got my hair cut and dyed. Um, and I don't know what is going on with my eyebrows, but I'm really sorry. I look like such a mess today. Uh, so let's jump right into this. Um, it is a $10 a month uh, monthly subscription. And you get about five to six samples. Sometimes I throw in a full size. And they... I don't want to say they guarantee it, but I guess they guarantee at least $10 worth of stuff in your box. I think my last box I got about um, like 30 something dollars in the box. I got a full size pixie lip pencil thing and some other stuff. But that's last month's birthday box. This is this month. Um, this is September's box. This is what the box looks like. It's pink. It says birch box on the side. And then when you open it up, you see the box like this. Can you see that? Yeah. Just little, um, I guess it's cardboard, but um, it's not very decorative. It does have a nice bright pink embossed symbol and their name on it. It's actually really cute and they're good for storage. When you open the box, this is what you see. You see their cards. Which tell you, which tells you about the box, and on the flip side, it tells you about each product and their prices for full size. And this month um, came with the fall lookbook. It's actually really cute. It's got just a bunch of different tips and tricks and all other kinds of goodies. It's really cute. Uh, last month's book. Let me find it. Oh, here it is. Silly me. Okay. This is last month's book. Um, this is one of my second birch box, so I'm not sure if this is like a monthly thing or if it's just, you know, for the trend or I don't know. But this was last month. This one also has little tips and tricks, but it folds out kind of like this. It's really long. Whereas the other one kind of looks like a mini magazine. See? Okay. So after you get past all the paperwork. You are greeted with teal paper, teal tissue paper. Uh, last month was pink, I think. When you open it up, uh, please excuse the mess in the box. I kind of lost the inside tissue paper. But you see all their samples and stuff. And then the little other samples were wrapped up in gray tissue paper with the ribbon. Okay, so this first thing on the card, I'm going to go in order by what's on the card. It is the Color Club Birch Box Custom Nail Polish. We teamed up with Color Club to create this custom shade inspired by the Fall 2012 collections. A full size is $8. I think this is full size, but this is the color I got. It's a nice pretty cobalt blue. And it is called Insta This. Um, I'm not sure if this is the full size or not. Um, I've never really seen Color Club. I think this is their mini. Um, this is 7 milliliters, so this might actually be their full size unless they go up to 10. Um, I did do the sneak peek video. I really need to stop doing that, and I'll explain why at the end of this video. But the sneak peek had said that the four or five colors that they created were based on social networking sites. So this one was based off of Instagram. They had um, one for Pinterest, one for Facebook, and one for Twitter. And I think there might have been one more, but I can't, I can't remember. But that was that, and I haven't used it yet. I'm actually waiting to do this video um, to use this, but I just, I haven't gotten to it. The next thing is the Jouer Matte Moisturizer Tint. This SPF 15 all-free tinted moisturizer blends in beautifully to even out skin and control shine. A full size is $38. This obviously is not a full size. Um, this is just a little itty bitty tester. Let's see. 
that's the color. As you can see, it uh, not that dark. So let's see. Now I'm not blending this out, but just so you can, right there, just so you can see the color difference. Let's see what happens when I blend it out. See on my hand it blends out a little bit, but I tried it on my face and it makes me look like I have a tan. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's in the winter and I don't tan in the winter. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll have to try it when the summer comes. The next thing is... I don't have it in here. Hmm. Oh well. The next thing is the Kate Spade New York Twirl. A blend of fruity and floral notes. This modern classic feels joyful and carefree. Um, I did sniff this one and I wore it when my husband and I went on our date night the, the day I got the box. It's more floral than fruity. Um, I... I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I do like like the overly powerful fruit scents versus the floral side of things. It's not bad at all. It's actually um, it's very feminine. It's very grown up, I guess. Uh, really, not much I could say about it. But the full size of that one is between eighteen to twenty dollars. Or wow, I'm sorry, eighteen to eighty dollars. Woo! Yeah, I'm not spending eighty dollars on perfume. But if it's your thing, go for it. Uh, it does, like I said, it does smell really good, but it's more on the floral side than the fruit. The next thing is Skin and Apothecary Soy Body Whip in Poppy, which is this. Infused with vitamin C and soy proteins, this mousse-like lotion soothes dry skin without feeling greasy. A full size is $27. Don't know what a full size is. This might be it. I have no idea. But it always smells the poppy flowers. Again, I do not like floral at all. I really wish Birchbox had the uh, little profile thing that um, Beauty Army does where I can put a like fruity versus floral. But this is what it looks like. It's just a light cream. Non greasy at all. Very smooth actually. Um, I just, I can't get over that smell guys, really. I mean, it's not a bad smell if you like flowers, but that's all it is. It's like a straight in your face poppy flower and it's just ugh. Not me. Not me at all. The next thing that's actually kind of makes me mad or reminds me of a bunch of um, girls griping about the My Glam bags from a while ago. This is a twist band birch box custom lace hair tie. Just a piece of elastic. Little strippy strip strip. So let's see. They don't feel any different than my normal hair ties. They're cute, I think. I can't really see. Can you guys see? I mean, probably not because it's red and I have red hair. But I can do that with my regular hair tie and it doesn't hurt. I'm actually really disappointed in this. It's just a piece of decorative elastic. I could have gone to Michael's and gotten decorative elastic. Uh, but this is a set of 6 or six to 12 for 14 to 22 dollars. Uh, let's see, Lifestyle Extra Hollywood's Fashion Secrets Hollywood Fashion Tape. Again, this reminds me of something from My Glam. I think we were My Glam a while ago. But I've never tried My Glam. I was just going off of all the videos. Uh, these double-sided sticky strips help conquer wandering bra straps and unruly hems. And this is just a sample pack. Yep. Oh, God. So that's what they look like. I could just use tape. I could just use clothes that fit. Not uh nope. Not thrilled with that one. And the final thing at the bottom is a here's a little something to welcome you to the world of Madewell. That's the front. And on the back it says two birch box members love Madewell. Here's a $25 gift card for your purchase of $75 or more. I do believe a gift card of $25 is just that. A gift card here is $25. Go spend whatever you want with $25. This is a coupon code for $25 off. This is not a gift card. I, I wish companies would stop trying to fool us into thinking they're giving us free money when they're not. They're giving us a coupon off of $75. So I have to spend at least $75 to make this worth it. And to me, it's not worth it. I'm in the middle of losing weight, so buying clothes is just... It's not worth it. And this is... Um, 
It's only available until um, Monday. No, Sunday, the 30th. I know uh, you're probably thinking, well, if you had done this review earlier and you had opened your box earlier, you wouldn't have had that problem and been able to use it. Well, the backstory with my birch box, and while I'm not so happy with my birch box this month, aside from the products, the only thing I actually like in this box is my nail polish. But I know when you're doing the subscription service, it's pretty much hit or miss, and it really just all depends on what they have going out that month. So I guess I can't really complain, but I had gotten an email from Birchbox on September 8th saying that my Birchbox had shipped. And in the email, it says it could take up to 10 days to get to the West Coast. Well, I'm not on the West Coast. I'm in the middle of the country. Um, my parents are in New Jersey, and Birchbox is located in New York. Well, when I get stuff shipped from Jersey, it gets here in about two or three days, and that's not priority, that's not anything, it's just plain old regular mail in about two to three days. Now, since Birchbox is a big company, I was letting, not letting, I was allowing an extra three or four days-ish to get here, um, just because, you know, it does have to go through the, uh, the warehouse, and then it does have to go through UPS to my post office, from my post office to my mailbox. So I was allowing from maybe, let's see, to be delivered on the 14th. Well, the 12th rolls around, and I was checking my tracking number, and my tracking number never updated. It kept saying that the uh, tracking information has been received, has not been processed through the warehouse. So I contacted Birchbox, and I alerted them of this problem, asking, hey, what's going on? I know you said it takes about 10 days, but my tracking number isn't even updating. And they had said that if I had not received it by Wednesday, which was the 20th at this point, um, to email them back and they would send me another one. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, the next day, so I contacted them on the 13th. The 14th rolls around just because I'm anal like that. I Again, I run my own company. You guys know this. So tracking numbers are very important to me, and I'm always, always, always keeping an eye on these tracking numbers. So I checked the Birchbox tracking number again, and on the 14th it says that it was shipped from the warehouse out of New, uh, out of New York on its way to me. Hmm. Why did I get a tracking slip on the 8th if it wasn't being shipped until the 14th? Really? I mean, I understand you have a lot of things going on, but do not send out tracking numbers if you're not going to mail it for a week. I, that's just bad business. And then I got it on the 21st. Yeah, I believe it was the 21st. Whatever the Thursday was. I didn't get it on Wednesday. I got it on Thursday. And I actually had a bunch of friends say, hey, you know, Birchbox didn't get to your door on Wednesday. You should get another one. I was like, no, 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 no. Uh, my tracking number said it'll be here tomorrow, which is Thursday. If it's not here Thursday, I will then contact Birchbox. It was here Thursday. I got the box. I opened it. Recorded the video. No, recorded the video while it was opening. I wasn't happy went home or I'm sorry went on my date with my husband came back to fix it or fix the video or whatever I do yeah and then there was no sound and then just because I was so disappointed in this box I really didn't want to do this video but I think you guys really deserve the right to know what's going on on Birchbox and then um I did do my extended blog post the link is down below it has um more in-depth review on this stuff um where to buy the stuff, the amounts of the full sizes and everything like that. I want to know what you guys got in your birch box. Are all the birch boxes the same? What color nail polish did you get? That would be awesome. I would love to see your nail polish swatches. You can put a video response down below, leave comments. I would love to see what you guys got, what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time.